Attack on Titan and The Promised Neverland are extremely suspenseful and thrilling mysteries. Both stories keep the audience on their toes with the execution of good plot twists. The mangas use two different kind of plot twists, one involving the world and one involving characters. The authors set up a world with main characters that we see through the eyes of. By using a limited third person perspective, we only know what the characters know. By making these characters ignorant to the actual world around them, they can create the first type of plot twist. The ignorance of our perspective character can come from lies, false assumptions, or just a lack of knowledge. Though our perspective is ignorant, the story doesn't let us know that, instead presenting the lies and false assumptions as facts. By having the characters be ignorant, the writer doesn't have to lie to us to make this plot twist. When the twist is executed, the characters find out that what they thought was true was actually different from their reality. If the characters lack knowledge, the writer is allowed to throw a wrench in the story, adding more problems. In both manga, there are examples of lies and false assumptions. In Neverland, the kids believe that they are being sent to families, but in reality, they are being eaten by demons. Their scores determine how long they get to live, with the less intelligent being shipped out faster. In Titan, the characters assume that the colossal and armored titans are just abnormal, but it's later revealed that they are shifters. The characters believe that the last of humanity is within the walls, but we find out that there is an entire country outside of the walls, free from titans. Both also have examples of lack of knowledge. In Titan, our perspective characters didn't know that titans come from humans. They didn't know that titan shifters existed. They didn't know that anyone could become one with the serum. They didn't know that the nine titans came from Ymir. They didn't know that there were titans in the wall, and they didn't know that there were traitors from outside among them. In Neverland, our perspective characters didn't know that there were trackers on them. They didn't know that Mama was previously a girl in their place. They didn't know that Mama was bringing Sister Crone. They didn't know that Ray was a double agent, and they didn't know that there was a cliff behind the wall. The list goes on. The second type of plot twist these stories do is related to the characters. They can have a character subvert expectations or skip over important scenes, only to reveal them after the twist has happened. For the subversion, the writers build up and write the character or a part of the story in a specific way, making us think that we can predict the actions of the character or story. They then have a character do something unexpected, unpredictable, or out of character. Both have subversion of expectations. In Neverland, Crone is working under Mama, so we expected her to be an ally. But Crone ends up working with the kids and Mama, becoming an unpredictable force. Mama is set up to be a passive-aggressive character, so when she breaks Emma's leg, it's surprising. Norman and the other kids are eager to escape, so when Norman has the chance to escape, but comes back, it's a surprise. Ray is written as a level-headed character, so when he tries to burn himself alive as a distraction, it's unexpected. In Titan, Erwin has always wanted to see what's in the basement so badly. So when he sacrifices his life in a suicide charge, we were unable to anticipate it. A similar thing happens with Armin. He has never been a fighter, and he has the grand dream of seeing the ocean. So when he sacrifices his life against Bertolt, it's shocking. When Levi has to inject someone, he argues and fights so hard in order to revive Erwin. So when he revives Armin instead, it subverts our expectations. Skipping over important scenes also happens in both. In Titan, we assume that Eren is dead because his transformation after getting Eden is initially skipped. We are surprised by Levi appearing behind the Beast Titan because the scene where they explain the plan is initially skipped. In Neverland, when Ray gets ready to burn himself, we believe that Ray actually does when Emma screams his name. This is because the scene where she stops him and burns the fake materials isn't revealed yet. We believe that Emma has actually given up because her preparations for the escape aren't shown until later. In conclusion, Attack on Titan and the Promised Neverland use many different strategies to write plot twists, from subversion of expectations to an ignorant perspective character. By adding in constant twists and switching between strategies of telling said twists, these manga are able to keep us guessing and in suspense. Thank you for watching. You can follow me on social media and please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe.